Mike Kupeska, what a character. Describes his fighting style as kicking and screaming, a combination of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, ground and pound, and wrestling. He's been training about five to six years, got into the sport because he likes fighting and used to fight in the street, and he found it easy to kick people's asses. Right out of his mouth, that's what he said. I mean, you know, that's, that's pretty much a fighter when it comes down to it. That guy is a born fighter, natural. His buddy got him into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and from there on out, it was just, you know, easy money. He loved it, and here he is. And another thing about him, you know, he said he's a fighter. He loves roosters. He loves the way they fight. You know, he loves the cockfighting elements of the sport. And he actually has a big rooster tattooed on his shin. That's part of his respect for the animal and the way he fights. So, I personally have never seen Mike Kavuska fight tonight, but if, if, if he's the guy that said, hey, I like to kick people's tails, and he fights like a Gamecock, we might see some action, like a lot of action. We're definitely going to see a lot of action in this fight. Both these guys, like I said, fighting at 135, one of the most exciting weight classes out there. It's going to be a really, really fun bout. Particularly if you want to keep it standing, because we know about his opponent. We'll start talking about him in a second. But we might see some bombs here. I actually expect to see a scrap from Kepka. I expect to deliver. I'm not sure what the picture he has in his hand is. It must be obviously something meaningful for him. I was actually surprised they don't get to the cage with that. but. Something of importance to him and meaning and motivation. Introducing second in the right corner, Marcus. Wow, what a crowd favorite. Marcus Cole here with a laundry list of achievements. He's been training for 15 years. He's very aggressive. Self-styled, seek and destroy style stand-up. Loves to stand and trade. He's a black belt in kickboxing and Krav Maga. Two times Golden Gloves runner-up. British kickboxing amateur champion. Swedish national champion runner-up. He's got a Mexican kickboxing title. This guy's all over the place. He got into the sport to be a better street fighter. He grew up in the wrong part of Birmingham, England, and found himself on the wrong side of a lot of really aggressive people. So he needed the training to kind of keep himself safe. The more he trained, the more he straightened up his life, and he really claims that martial arts put him on a, the right path in life. Right, he described, when he moved from Sweden to Birmingham, he described where he grew up as the south central of Birmingham, and it was really rough. So it's another example of, uh, you know, my big part was turning people's lives around. You know, Marcus is very involved in the sport. He's a commentator for another organization, StudioMMA.com. He's not to with a number of fight-related websites, trained law enforcement, trained movie stars, has a massive sports management, speaks six point five different languages at the event point five. I mean, really interesting guy. Very interesting guy, very intelligent human being, and definitely really crafty inside and out of the cage. This is going to be a very, very exciting fight. I've said it a million times, but really, I'm I'm looking forward to this. From Marcus' own mouth, when I said, what should we expect? He said, expect a fun and a fast-paced fight. Another quote from no win. So if you want to, uh, if uh, Kovetska was looking for a, a cock fight, looks like uh, he found the right opponent. I'm looking for a first-round finish from one of these guys here. We are off. 
first round of our co-main event here. The crowd is electric. Both men circling. Kubeska looking to be the aggressor here. Marcus with this extremely technical stand-up. Look for him to really find the openings here, move around, looking for holes in the game. I'll tell you this, we ran through uh, Marcus's accomplishments in his, in his laundry list of accomplishments, but Kubeska is not intimidated at all. You can see him in there ready to mix it up. He's looking for damage, jab, high kick off the bat. Nice counter. Flashing the no switch left kick up top. A lot of people like that move these days. Oh! Marcus Cole nearly misses with a spinning back hook kick to the head. Oh! Wow. Kubeska slams him, suplex for his trouble. Yep, locked right on his back. Now you see Marcus holding control of those hands. He's got to be careful, breaking him off his hips so he can stand back up. The strong Kubeska is probably going to look for another slam. Marcus is working his back in the cage to get around, and he is safe now. Good recovery from a very dangerous position. Absolutely. Kubeska looking to be a little bit stronger here in the clinch. Got to be careful with some of those spinning moves as we saw at last week's uh, by the UFC last week, the wrong spinning move could put you in a real dangerous place. Absolutely. You know, those are high risk, high reward moves, but you really got to time it right. Seems like the entire crowd in this place is on Marcus's side, giving him advice. Good defense from Kubeska dropping low for a single, but Marcus showing very good defense, pushing the head away, stepping out. Kubeska tenacious in his pursuit of the takedown, though. Marcus actually going for a neck attack right now, but he's controlling the head. It's probably, I would be trying to push his arm and then such fine elbows. Good elbow from Cole. You know, Marcus is doing a really good job of uh, Again, staying out of trouble and working with his back in the cage, and he takes control of the cage now. Kabeska clearly feels comfortable in the, in the, in the uh, clinch because he seems to want to fight here. Got to be very careful with that neck. Kabeska bleeding a little bit from his nose, throwing winging punches. And we're back to the center of the cage. Oh, big right low kick from Cole. Just stepped into it and shin to the meat right there. Right, and not too much of a surprise. You want to see Kabeska move right in for the body clinch after that. Cole really seems to be looking for that guillotine. Cole's landed some really nice inside boxing, a lot of little short right uppercuts and left elbows coming over the top. He's doing some real good things. Kabeska. Wow, oh, and that was a... <laughs> So much action, so much yeah. excitement in that round. That almost flew by for me. But uh, really interesting first round. What did you think about it? Honestly, I think, you know, Kobeska obviously controlled a lot of the grappling, coming forward, trying to really impose his will in the clinch. But I think Marcus just did too much with the strikes. I think he did a little too much damage. I think I give that round to Marcus 10-9. You know, I'm going to agree with you, despite the slam. I'm going to agree with you. Uh, Marcus really landed some more of the, more of the damage and blows in my head. Let everybody know, Inga Cole, the golden Let them know what time it is. <laughs> Here we go, round two of our co-main event about to begin. Look for Marcus to implement his stand-up game plan. Kubeska to keep diving in to control that clinch. Wouldn't be surprised to see a heavy, uh, Kubeska attempt a heavy shot early. Oh, yeah. I'm nice. thinking overhand right, left hook. And I would expect Mark to stay a little tighter. Uh, High kick, knew it. And traditional. <laughs> Teeth to the face. Beautiful. Just misses with a spinning back fist. Spinning all over the place. He's throwing some. Oh, oh spinning back landed. kick to the liver. I. Oh, man. Marcus very quickly is looking to recover his guard. Smart and intelligent. Right now he's looking for a sweep. Hard right to tell away. if that was a slip or a clean shot, but either way, Marcus ended up on his back and he's scrambling now. Kabeska like taking the back. Yeah. yeah, so Kubeska here gets full back control, appears to have both hooks in, 
and is under the arms. This is a very precarious position for Marcus. He seems very comfortable. He's doing a good job defending his neck and landing a couple punches, but you can hear his corner screaming, get your back on the floor so that you can get out of this dangerous back control. He's got to be careful punching. He just tried to punch and left his neck exposed. Yep, and Krubesko immediately jumps on the neck in an attack, and he has to be very careful right now. I can't see the, okay, we've seen a different angle here. He's getting his, it under his chin, almost. He's, this, this is very close. The arm positioning is very close to being out of trouble or in severe trouble. Nice job. He takes the ball on, pulls it over the opposite shoulder, and nullifies the choke. He should get his back to the ground, though, and be careful. He might get body triangled right here by Kabeska. is doing a great job controlling right now. But again, you see that same defense. You take that forearm, you throw it over your neck, and you're basically out of trouble. Corner calling for two on one. Oh, I mean, Kabeska steps slash? on. Oh! oh. Marcus attempts to smash his opponent on his face, get the monkey off his back, proverbially. Kubeska's still really fighting for that choke. Yeah, he's kept those hooks the whole time. Very impressive. Marcus landing a hard series of elbows and manages to shake Kubeska oh. off. Now Marcus on top, in guard, delivering ground and pound. The crowd is erupting. Yeah, the crowd's going crazy, and Marcus is making it look up. Make it to look up the lost time, and he's doing it. Elbow after elbow, bouncing off Kabeska's skull. Marcus really putting the combinations together here from the guard. Another big shot. He's going body and head with the with the with the shots here from uh, from the top. Mixing up his attacks well. Kabeska might want to close his guard up. And he closes his guard. More brutal ground and pound for Marcus at the closing 10 seconds of the round. Wow, brilliant round. I mean, uh, once again, I would have to give that to Marcus. I mean, Kabeska had some great moments when he was on Marcus's back, but that flurry at the end there, that was a lot of damage. Yeah, again, it comes down to the control versus damage competition we've been having. And really, for a long time, had a lot of control. But we did, he did not secure a choke, even though he was getting close, and he didn't really land any significant strikes, despite beautiful control. There was one moment where it looked like he kind of shook Marcus up. I couldn't tell if it was a slip because it happened so oh, fast. That's right. That's right. It was, yeah. I think it was a slip. But Marcus did land some devastating strikes, including a teep to the face, which is always nice to see. And the second he got out of the back control, the precarious position, he thought it going to work, landed the most significant strike. I think tonight we've seen the judges are into damage, and I wouldn't be trying to pay all to give that round to Marcus. Definitely have to agree with you there. So here we are, the third and final round of our co-main event. Awesome 135-pound scrap. Great showcase of mixed martial arts. Fighting on the feet, fighting on the ground, and everywhere in between. If I'm Kubeska, I'm probably taking this to the ground. If I'm Marcus, I'm probably going to try and keep it standing and put in some work. Absolutely. Oh. I poke. Wow. I poke from uh, the opposite hand or something. Oh, he split open. Wow. It, a headbutt. it looked like a headbutt. Yeah, it was a headbutt. K Kabeska came forward oh, with a hard right hook to the body. That's a bad cut. He's pouring blood, and he's also rocked. Yeah, that, that oh, headbutt was... That would was be a shame. They may have to stop this fight. Very brutal. That definitely happened from a headbutt. Kabeska dove in for a hard right hook to the kidney or spleen area, and his head connected with Marcus and just opened up a terrible cut. Definitely did a lot of damage, yeah, not just Marcus cosmetically, did. yeah. Yeah, it... Uh, Big cut. Oh, and the fight is oh. over. That's a disappointing end to a very exciting fight. And you can hear the doctor. Mark is saying, I can still see. I want to keep fighting. And the, they're not going to change the decision once the ref waves and it's over. Marcus wants to fight. The doctor is very clear. He said, you have a big cut right over your eye, and they're not going to continue. So disappointing. That was a thrilling fight. And what looks happening here? Are they stopping or not? I don't think looks ref like, it, but they Yeah, the, the ref waved minutes. it off, but it looks like they may be overturning it. I'm not sure. Ah, ah. 
he can't continue. It's very large and it's right up on the side. Okay, so it seems what has happened here is they've called a stop to the fight because of an unintentional headbutt. But due to the nature of the foul, they're going to the scorecards to determine a winner from the previous two rounds. Right, so they're going to score. They're here very clear, great description, really nice. Just a big, meaty cut. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Mark is probably going to want to you know, call it, but I think Mark's probably going to you know, get the victory here. Yeah, probably. I'm so glad that they're going to the scorecard here, though. Me versus too. Versus a no contest. So I think it's because we're, you know, we're two rounds into it. We're more than 66% way of the fight through. Right. It, it would be a shame for this to end on a technicality like a no contest. Right. Whew. That was a big headbutt. I wonder if we can get a camera shot of, uh, of that cut. I don't know if we will, but if we can, that'd be great. Very nasty cut. All right, we're trying to. Uh, probably, it's going to be difficult to get in there. They're covering the cut. They're paying attention. It was pouring like a faucet, so this isn't like the old Pride days where they pull it open for the camera to see. There's a lot of blood on the mat. Yeah, there's a lot of blood. He dropped a lot of blood quick, quickly. Yeah, he's in good spirits. That was a great fight. Disappointing end, but... You can see him smiling for the camera. We're probably not going to get a look at it, but I'll take the doctor and the ref's word for it. The fight was stopped because of an unintentional headbutt. It is going to a decision. The crowd not very happy with this, but unfortunately that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Nothing you can do about it when an unintentional foul happens. It's unfortunate, but that's just the reality of the situation. You know, I think that's the right decision by the doctors too. I mean, he was rocked by the cut. I haven't seen the cut, but I'll tell you, they say it's a big cut directly over your eye. It's gonna be hard to finish a fight. You know what? like two of the three judges saw that in really solid back control from Kubeska and the control of the round, the attack with the choke, they gave him that round. And uh, Marcus won the first. I mean, that has to be the way it went. Two out of three. Yeah, you know, it's really disappointing to see this happen, but at the end of the day, had they let the fight continue, Marcus was not only hurt cosmetically, but he was shaken up. It would have been a really terrible thing if he had gone back out there and gotten caught because of an illegal strike that had rocked him. So, you know, I think they did the right thing here. Yeah, for fighter safety, you never know what would have happened. That cut could have been busted wide open. You, you got to act. You know what? It's, it's, I can't tell if it's a long cut or extremely deep. Is that the whole length of his eyebrow, that cut? Well, either way, a great show, a great fight for those two rounds that we saw. I wouldn't mind to see them fight each other uh, in the future. I, I hope we get a rematch on the next Samurai Pro card. I just want to say, most of all, thanks to Mike Kubeska for taking the fight. The, uh, the headbutt was an accident. Uh, sugar happens. I want to thank all the people that came out. I want to thank everyone in the Kamala, the Ruby Combat team. I want to thank everyone from Black House. Thanks for taking the time coming here. Come to combination with after the party. I'll see you in the laboratory.